Hi guys, Tiana here and today we are playing Royal High and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can level up super fast in Royal High. So as you know, I'm currently the highest level player with level 18,447 and I'm basically just going to be going over how I grind my levels in this game. So if you have watched my YouTube channel for a long time now, you may know that I actually hit level 10,000 this year and by the looks of things, we are going to be hitting level 20,000 this year as well, which is honestly such a big achievement for me and I am so excited to hit level 20,000. Yeah, so the grinding method that I'm about to show you in this video, I believe is the fastest way you can grind levels in Royal High. So on my YouTube channel, I have been seeing comments every single day of you guys asking me to do a video on how to level up super fast, but I actually never got round to doing it because I looked on YouTube and there were so many other people that had done a video on how to level up super fast in Royal High. So I just thought it wasn't necessary for me to make a video about it, but you guys kept requesting that I do this. So here we go, guys, I'm doing the video today. So for leveling up, you will need a VIP server you can buy a VIP server in Royal High for 100 Robux and it will last a month and then you can buy it again once it's run out and that will cost another 100 Robux or of course you can use a friend's VIP server if they do have one I'm sure they will not mind if you ask politely to use it so when you are in a VIP server, you will want to teleport to the new Royal High School and you don't want to be teleporting and leveling up in the classic Royal High only because you want to be avoiding music class and baking class because music class doesn't give you any XP, it only gives you XP for the book check which I personally don't think is much at all and for baking class, you want to be avoiding that too because it just goes on too long and when you're wanting to get levels, it feels like the class could go on for like 10 minutes literally even though it isn't that long it feels like that so yeah you want to be avoiding that so always go to the new royal high school yeah again so you will need a vip server because public is far too slow and if you are looking to do a lot of levels in a day then a vip server is definitely the way to go because you're alone in the vip server and no one else is going to be teleporting to class so you can just whiz through all of the classes in a jiffy but anyway guys now we are gonna go teleport over to the new Royal High School and I'm gonna be showing you tips and tricks on how you can level up super fast but before you teleport there always check that your energy in the apartments is up to 100% because as you see we had 60 there and by the time we've gone through class and teleported our energy would be at zero and you know we could have got more XP because it would have been all the way down at zero and if we get it to 100 it's only going to be down at about 37 I believe so you'll get more XP so we've just leveled up now so anyways let's teleport over to the new Royal High School not that we can call it the new Royal High School anymore because it has been in this game for a long time now but we do have a new Royal High School coming I believe it's supposed to be released in September which is September now so I'm truly excited to play it but who knows if it's going to come out there might be some bugs and glitches but who knows, I'm sure Barbie and the team are working super hard on it and it's just really exciting. So once you load in to the new Royal High, you will want to claim your locker, punch in your locker code and get all of your books. It's so much easier if you just get all of your books all in one go. So you don't need to come back to your locker and get a certain book for a certain class. So yeah, just get all of them so they're down in your inventory here. So, you know, you have a bit of time before class starts. You've got to wait a couple of minutes before the first class, which is swimming class so this would be a good time to farm some diamonds all around the map which I don't do because I do get all of my diamonds from leveling so I don't really need to go and farm some diamonds also guys do you recognize anything different about my outfit well if you don't then the mini skirt got reworked I cry <laughs> That was literally my favourite skirt along with the magical enchantress. But don't get me wrong, I do really love the new rework. The bow at the back of the skirt is so gorgeous. I love it. But I don't really see the um, ruffles working with the mini skirt. It's like, it's not really working with my bodice and... Yeah, I'm not really a fan of it being ruffly. I'll probably grow to like it in the future, but... 
I really wish it wasn't ruffly, but I'm still glad they kept the bow at the back because I love bows and yeah, it was amazing. So the first class we have is swimming, so we're going to go ahead and teleport. And what you want to do is just fly up to the benches here and sit down. And then from this, you are going to get an A plus from swimming class because we're not going to fall down. But if you are actually alone in the VIP server and you do fall down, you will still get the A plus because you're alone. But, you know, if you had um, if you had friends in the server, then if you fall, you wouldn't get the A plus. But if you do fall with friends in the VIP server, all you need to do is click dress up and you'll float above swimming class. So that is awesome. We fell down two times. Oh, I'm guessing that's three, but the class already ended now. But yeah, we fell down two times and still got an A plus because we are alone in the server. So basically, when you teleport to swimming class, you don't really need to do anything. Just teleport and that's it really. You can just wait till the class is over because it doesn't matter if you fall. Yeah, so I'm going to try and give as many tips and tricks in this video as I can to help you guys level up in this game. So next is baking class. So I don't really have anything to say in baking class. All you need to do is just do baking class and you'll be graded an A+. And also, if you do forget to teleport to baking class, I mean, let's be real, we've all done it before. We've all missed the beep to class and not teleported. We've all done it before. But if that is the case in baking class, you can still do baking class and get graded, which is awesome. So it's not really a big deal if you don't teleport. But the only problem is you won't get the book check for baking. But I mean, that's not too bad. At least you can still be graded if you accidentally don't teleport to baking. Alright, so here we go. Baking class is done. Now, it is a little bit of a wait in baking class, but we can check and see what the next class is, which is PE. So, we will wait until PE is next. So, while baking is going on, again, this would be a great time to go and farm some more diamonds because you have a lot of time. Here we go, teleporting to PE. So if you have the flight speed game pass, you'll want to put it up all the way up to 300 or 299 to be exact. And you'll want to fly up to the benches at PE here. Now, if you don't have the flight game pass, you will need to be really quick to fly over to the benches. But I'll actually show you what you can do if you think you won't get there fast enough. So for PE, you will just need to fly all the way over to the bell, whiz right over. It's real quick. Ring the bell and get the 20 diamond here so if you don't have the flight game pass you will want to just fly over to one of the chairs here so once PE starts you'll just want to run all the way up here and fly obviously you know you'll have the speed down here you won't even have the um, option to turn it up and down it won't be there and just fly over and yeah it might take a little while but it's so much quicker than doing all of PE so it's definitely worth flying over to one of the chairs here or even here if you can make it in time which is possible because I did try it so anyway we have computer class so when you teleport to computer class this is really easy all you need to do is literally one letter and you'll get an A plus so here let's do E and there we go, you'll get an A+. But if you have friends in the server, you all need to stick to doing the same amount of letters here. If one of your friends does two letters and you do one, then your friend will get the A+. And yeah, it does happen by accident. You know, your friends will be talking in the server and then, you know, they'll accidentally click. So, for example, if I put like, yeah, so, you know, your friend might accidentally um, click one of the letters on the keyboard that's shown up on here and get an extra point so be aware of that i just recommend you don't talk to your friends in computer class just wait until the class is over so you can all get the same amount of letters also guys something to be aware of if you teleport to computer class late then the letters at the top will not show so for example you know when the time is like just about to run out? Well, if you click it right at the end, the letters at the top won't show and you will get an F. You'll still get the book check, but yeah, you'll get an F. The letters won't show. So when computer class starts, just, you know, click straight away. 
Anyways, for chemistry, well, you just need to do the potions as quickly as you can and get the class over and done with here. It's so much quicker when you're alone, but it's actually fine if you have a friend in a VIP server for this because if they teleport, only one of you will get the A+. So if you want that A+, you got to go really quickly. But if more than two of you teleport to chemistry class, then the class will go on longer and then it's going to take longer for you to level up. So it's just better if you are definitely alone in a VIP server so again this would be a good time to go and farm some diamonds so I guess I'll show you where some awesome diamonds are even though you probably already know so there's a few up here but you know they're pretty obvious to see and I don't have the diamond game pass because I do not need it because I get all of my diamonds from leveling as I said before so when you're collecting diamonds, you will get so much more if you do own both of the diamond game passes, which is awesome. I believe the 20 diamonds would be worth 120 for anyone who has both of the diamond game passes. I'm not entirely sure just because I don't have the game passes, but I believe that's right. So over here we have a 10 diamond. We'll go get that. There's a few diamonds jotted around by the trees here. There's a pink one under the tree. Oh, we didn't get it. And I'll actually show you where there's a real cheeky diamond just down here. So it's better if you have flight speed all the way up at the top and zoom in. Here we go. And we'll go get that cheeky diamond there. And there is one on the other side. So actually, I think it's harder to get out if you don't have the flight speed. We'll just check actually. Zoom in. Oh. Maybe it isn't as hard. I don't know. There is a 20 diamond in the principal's office here in the fire, which is kind of hard to see. You know, if you're new to the game, it's a little bit hard to see. You might not know it's there. And there is a few diamonds jotted around on the chairs here. There's a diamond worth five at the top of the diving board here. Gosh, can we just talk about like how high this diving board is? I would be so scared to jump off this. And I would like to know if anyone would jump off this for a million pounds. Let me know down in the comments if you would. But yeah, there's a few diamonds in here. So at the top of the Mermaid Cove, there is actually a diamond right here and one here as well. But it's like blended in with the, um, the neon spikes at the top of the cave here, which is really cool. And then around here, we have more diamonds. And just before we teleport to English, I just want to show you there's some diamonds around here too. Now we'll teleport to English. So for English, you actually, believe it or not, don't have to get any questions right when you are alone in the VIP server. So what I like to do is just spam click through all of the questions. We just leveled up again. Awesome. So yeah, look, we just clicked on it like because you're spamming so hard. You're spam clicking so hard. Even if you click on the right answer, it'll still say you've got it wrong, but it doesn't matter. You don't need to get any right. So just, you know, spam click through it really fast. Get it over and done with. And as you can see, we didn't get any right, but we still got the A plus here. So that is awesome. And then the last class of the day is art, which goes on the longest along with baking. I don't know which is longer, baking or art. So you don't need to do anything in art. All you need to do is teleport and you'll get the A plus. So you don't need to do any painting. You just leave it. So this would be, I've said this so much. This would be a good time to go and farm some diamonds. And look, there is a lot of diamonds out here. Let me see if I can just quickly get out of here. Oh, that was real fast. Usually it takes longer than that. So there's a 10 diamond, there's two 20 diamonds. So you do get a lot of um, diamonds in art class here, just outside of art class. And then there's a few mini ones. And also I will go over how you can keep yourself entertained while grinding levels. Because I saw on my YouTube channel in the comments, some of you guys said, Tiana, how do you keep yourself entertained when grinding levels because I want to grind levels but I get really bored easily yes grinding levels can become really boring when you keep doing it over and over again so I will show you how I keep myself entertained while grinding levels so I go in dress up and I like to make outfits for my royal high characters here so as you know I make royal high characters so I'll get out a few of my royal high characters here and I'll make them a different kind of outfits because you know they all have their original outfits the thing they wear like every day but I'll maybe make them a prom outfit or a winter outfit a summer outfit just anything really and it's just so much fun and that definitely keeps me entertained 
and sometimes I'll make new Royal High characters which does take a very long time because I am a bit of a perfectionist and I want to get it perfect and match all the colours right and what else do I do to keep myself entertained? I watch YouTube, that's definitely something I do and I like to write as well, I love to write stories. I'll usually be writing stories about my Royal High characters here, just you know random stories, it's so much fun to do that, I love it so much. I'll even be playing games on Steam while levelling up in Royal High. I'm pretty good at multitasking, if I do say so myself. Usually I'll be playing like The Sims 4. I am kind of obsessed with The Sims 4, it's so much fun. And making my Royal High characters in The Sims 4. But anyway, so it's the end of the day now, so you will want to do your homework. I was kind of jabbering on a little bit there. Usually you should be doing your homework bang on 3 o'clock. So... I like to click the arrows on the keyboard. I think it's just so much faster than clicking because I used to click and, you know, it's just definitely not as faster. So, yeah, try and do the arrows on the keyboard. But, you know, just do what you're comfortable with or what you think is faster. You know, you might be quicker at clicking the uh, arrows. I'm not sure. So, we have chemistry, swimming and English. Chemistry... English swimming and once you hand in the homework you will want to teleport back to the apartments and once you have loaded in you will want to sleep in the apartment bed and get all of your energy up and once your energy gets up to 100% you will want to teleport back to the new royal high here and just repeat what I have just shown you and you'll be so surprised at how many levels you can do every single day if you just repeat that process and there we go, we leveled up again, so now we are level 18,450, which is awesome. So yeah guys, that's how I grind my levels in Royal High. I think it's the fastest way to grind levels. Hopefully this video will help you guys out to level up super fast. And also guys, you will want to check your cell phone when you can do the fountain, because the fountain actually gives XP, and oh, we can do it in about 3 minutes, that is helpful. I'll go do the fountain after I end this video. Yeah, it's really helpful if you do know which fountain options give XP because that's going to help with leveling of course, getting XP from the fountain, yeah, so keep an eye out of when you can do the fountain because, you know, you might get XP. But yeah guys, I think I am going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video will help you with grinding levels and if you do have a different grinding method then please tell me down in the comments because I would really love to hear that. But yeah, guys, that's how I grind my levels. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to turn on your notifications so you know when a new video is out. I love you all so much. And I'll see my fairy ponies in the next video. Stay unique. Bye.